and I just hope that through sharing my story that I can try to bring good out of a situation that has been indescribably difficult. Good morning, it's a beautiful day outside today and so I thought I would just film a little update for you and just kind of fill you in on how things are going, how I'm doing. It's been about a little over a month now that we've been home since we did the six week trip to Florida to be treated at Caring Medical and to have prolotherapy treatments on my neck below my fusion. So if you guys aren't familiar with my story, I was fused C0 to C2 for severe cranial cervical instability and carry malformation. And that surgery did not bring me the symptom relief and quality of life that we had hoped and um, ultimately if I were to redo it again I would not have surgery even though I was told there was no other option but I 100% believe that the surgery was a part of my story for a reason and it felt right at the time so it's something that I really try not to question too much or to have any sort of regrets or anything like that but I'm really thankful that we found Caring Medical and Dr. Hauser and that we were able to go have treatments there. Everything was a positive experience um, and my neck is doing better. I hardly wear my neck brace during the daytime much at all anymore. Um, unless I'm sitting up right like this like I am right now for long periods of time but I have noticed that I'm able to set up like this without a neck brace uh, for much longer than I used to be able to do after these three rounds of prolotherapy and I'm really thankful for that. My neck pain has definitely started to improve. Okay, this is future Rachel just adding a few things here while I'm editing the video. I realized that I didn't really go into detail in this video about what specific symptoms have improved with prolotherapy and one of the reasons for that is because I'm really just trying not to focus on symptoms and overanalyzing them and thinking about them really at all and so that's why I really didn't go into detail with that and then the other reason is because I've been doing so many different things for healing my body that there's no way to 100% say like this improvement is from prolotherapy I'm pretty certain that my improvement in neck instability and my ability to be upright for longer periods of time is likely in big part a result from the prolotherapy, but there's really no way to 100% know for sure. Um, I, I think it's pretty obvious in, in my case so far to say that these treatments have certainly made a difference and played a part in the healing that I've seen so far but I'm doing a lot of other things that I think are really important for my healing and a big piece of the puzzle for me. So typically my improvements come very gradually and I have to look back to see how much I've improved. And so just kind of like throwing that out there, but in general, I'm spending a lot more time out of bed, which I think is a big indicator of you know how things are going. I'm still um, having to do things that are like very low energy. I'm not like exercising or anything like that. But yesterday I walked to the end of my driveway and back for the first time. My driveway is really long so when we were living at my parents house I could walk um, to the end of their driveway because it was really short and back. Um, but ours is probably at least four or five times as long, maybe probably six or seven times as long as that. So I'm excited that I did that and I'm really trying to push my walking abilities and my pot symptoms have started to improve, but I really don't know 100% for sure if it's a result of the prolotherapy and the neck weights. I think it's probably a combination of that and other things that I'm doing for my healing. Um, and I'll touch on that more later in the video. Another thing is that my neurological and migraine-like symptoms, those 
have gradually started to improve. They're still really impacting my quality of life. I'll kind of just leave it at that. Um, and fatigue is still really impacting my quality of life. I'm able to tolerate being around people for longer amounts of time, which I know I've touched on in other videos, but just basically being around people and light and noise and just um, being overstimulated was and still is a really big trigger for my symptoms. And that's another really big like limiting factor in my quality of life and whatnot. Um, but that has uh, slowly started to increase. It's still, you know, not near being normal, but I've seen an improvement. And so uh, really, really thankful for that. And um, yeah, I would say I'm starting to spend, depending on the day, um, six to eight or nine hours out of bed a day. And with that being said, it's not me like, walking around all that time or sitting up straight all that time it may be me like laying on the couch or maybe me laying on a lounge outside which i have been spending a lot of time outside and i feel like that's been really good for my mental health anyways um the tingling in my hands and feet has started to improve and what else? There's so many symptoms. The ringing in my ears has not improved yet. That's still a really constant one for me. I'll do a video soon showing you guys an updated range of motion at about three years since my craniocervical fusion surgery. The treatments at Caring Medical they with the chiropractor Dr. Brian um, and, and probably the prolotherapy as well, but helped with my range of motion in my neck and I'm working on adjusting like kind of like the anxiety that I had surrounding my neck after my surgery because of my surgeon telling me never to move my neck again, which I don't personally believe is good advice and neither do my doctors at Caring Medical. But I'm learning to like, <laughs> I don't know, my, my acupuncturist actually talks about me like reclaiming my neck and like feeling comfortable in it again because it's always felt so foreign to me, difficult to explain after the surgery, but it's been a source of anxiety for me and I'm actually not an anxious person at all. And so that's been kind of tricky to navigate, but I'm just trying to feel like safe and uh, feel comfortable moving it <laughs> like that. Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot better with that. So that's, that's a really good thing. Um, gosh, I feel like I could go on forever about this stuff, but I'll go ahead and go back to the rest of the video now, but uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comments. Likely will not be talking about symptoms at all here soon, but I do want to continue sharing my journey and sharing just about the healing process and all those things. So I still have a long, long ways to come before I'm healthy and doing well. But for me and comparing to how I used to be doing in the past, I'm doing pretty well. And I do attribute a good amount of that to prolotherapy but but honestly I have been focusing my efforts elsewhere and as you guys know I've been doing the carnivore diets for seven months now and I think that's been a really important part of my healing. I've come to really change my beliefs surrounding chronic illness and just the way that I view it in general and so I, I've kind of struggled to know how to best share that with you guys and communicate that with you guys because I know that some of my thoughts and views may be very different than some of yours but I've kind of just come to the conclusion that I'm going to share my thoughts and you guys can just take it in any way that you want. My own chronic illness journey I spent years you know, going the Western traditional medicine route. I had obviously, as you guys know, lots of surgeries and my case was very severe. I never really found the relief that I was looking for through that traditional Western medicine route. So as I became sicker and sicker and more desperate, I really started to look into different methods of healing. And, and truthfully for me, those other methods of healing have increased my quality of life so much and I'm really really thankful that God led me to some of these other 
things that have worked really well for me and for many others and so one of those things being the way that I eat and so I changed my diet to the carnivore diet. I think the GAPS diet is an amazing, amazing healing tool. It's very, has a lot of similar principles to the carnivore diet, but it's not completely 100% animal based. The GAPS diet was developed by Dr. Natasha McBride and she originally developed that way of eating for her young son who had autism who eventually went into remission through this way of eating and since has helped thousands of families and then since has realized that this diet and gut healing protocol has helped tens of thousands of people to heal from all sorts of autoimmune diseases and chronic illnesses and if you if you had asked me years ago if i thought you know diet really really mattered in my case with chronic illness i would say no because that's what doctors told me of course i was gluten free because of celiac and i tried different diets like i tried paleo i was mostly refined sugar free for well over a year, I tried vegetarian, I tried all sorts of different things, but nothing brought me relief until I started this way of eating. <laughs> but it has been a very up and down journey, and I guess my opinion on, on eating has drastically changed, and I've kind of adapted the mentality of I want every bite of food that I eat to be contributing to my health and my healing and I don't want to eat anything that is going to take away from my health even if it's something that I you know would enjoy and that tastes good but I'm just trying to keep as healthy of a mindset around that as possible and I guess with all of this I I think that for me my healing isn't going to be from one thing it's not going to be just from eating the carnivore diet or just from doing um, prolotherapy treatments or just from doing DNRS, which I'll talk about more in a minute. But I think it's gonna be a combination of all trying all these different healing methods and finding what works for me and what brings me the best quality of life. I've had a really big mindset shift in the last month or so and I've really started to believe that I can fully heal from my chronic illnesses and um, I know that that healing journey is going to be a long one and it's going to have big ups and downs but I really think I can get back to where I was before. I've had a lot of doctors tell me that I'm going to be sick for the rest of my life, that I have incurable diseases and um, that they're genetic and all those things but at least in my opinion, I, I've been doing a lot of research on epigenetics and neuroplasticity and just all sorts of different methods of healing and I do think it's possible and so that's what I'm aiming for. I know I mentioned this in my last video that I'm planning to start a brain retraining program called DNRS and that stands for Dynamic Neural Retraining System. Basically, it, it involves you dedicating an hour of your day to retraining and rewiring your brain to help heal from chronic illness and I have been spending a lot of time researching and looking into this program and just some of the stories I've read have been absolutely miraculous and incredible and um, I think the power of our minds can't be understated in a situation with chronic illness and it's not just positive thinking it's not like positive thinking your way out of illness and i think that's what a lot of people might assume when they hear of something like dnrs but it's so much more than that it's basically helping your brain to get out of that constant state of fight or flight which our bodies need to be able to do in order to heal and so that's something I'm really excited about. Lately I've been spending a lot of time outside trying to get more sunlight and vitamin D. I've been doing something called grounding. I've been doing meditation. I've been doing visualizations of me doing certain activities that I haven't been able to do in years. Um, I've also, like before I go to bed every night, I just lay there and I tell myself like you are healing, you are safe, 
you are strong and just kind of go through like these mantras and affirmations and just I just keep telling myself throughout the day that I'm healing that I'm safe that I'm strong and I think those things really actually can make a difference they're difficult to do when you're really debilitated by illness anyways I think that having this structured program of DNRS will be really helpful for me and I actually already have it and I'm planning to start DNRS early next week and so I'm really excited I think that it could really help me to have a new level of breakthrough in my health and I'll keep you guys updated on that I did want to mention that I started a new YouTube channel to kind of document and share more in depth about my carnivore journey and healing journey and it's called ribeye rage um and so i'll put a link to that down below yeah um i've been sharing a lot more on there just because it's something that i've become really passionate and excited about so just so you guys know when i start dnrs i won't be talking about any specifics of symptoms that I'm having, which won't be difficult for me because I don't talk very much about symptoms anyway, especially to um, people in person. And so I don't think that'll be a difficult adjustment for me at all, but just a heads up that I won't be able to answer questions like that. And I won't be talking in specifics about symptoms. So that's another reason why I wanted to do an update video on the prolotherapy before going into that. Like I said, it's just a piece of the puzzle in my healing and I don't know guys, I'm just feeling super thankful and hopeful and just, it's hard to describe, but just the thought of healing and being able to go back t to life and exercising and just like participating in all these things that I haven't for years, I mean, there's just no way to put that feeling into words after all that I've been through over these past few years. Last week at church, Jake and I taught a lesson about uh, a story in the Old Testament about Joseph. And Joseph was a prophet in the Old Testament and he went through a lot of really, really difficult things. And he was falsely imprisoned for years and sold into slavery and he trusted God throughout that whole process and in the end I think it was Genesis uh, chapter 50 verse 20 he says God made it unto good and when I read that I, I started to tear up because it reminded me of my story with chronic illness and how you know all of these really difficult things you know, God has found a way to turn it into good. And I just hope that through sharing my story that I can try to bring good out of a situation that has been indescribably difficult. And I think something I've really realized throughout this whole journey has been no matter our situation, the goodness of God doesn't change. And so he was no less good during the worst moments and the worst um, experiences and years of my chronic illness journey than he is now that I'm healing. And that to me has just been a really powerful thing. To those of you guys who are really, really in the thick of it right now and struggling endlessly, just know that I'm praying for you, I'm rooting for you, and just hope that there's something that you can find that will help improve your quality of life but ultimately I hope that you can find peace and joy no matter what your situation may be. Anyways guys that's the update. Um, things are going pretty well and I'm super thankful. Also you guys may have noticed I haven't been posting on my Fused with Love Instagram and that's really just because I've needed us to take a step back from that community in, in, in order to help with my own healing. And um, so YouTube has been a really good way for me to still continue to share what's going on with you guys and connect with you guys um, in a way that works for me right now. And um, I do have a, also have a new Instagram account called ribeye rage so just at ribeye rage and i've been posting on that really regularly and so if you guys want to follow that then go for it <laughs> and i also have a lot more videos coming out on my new channel called ribeye rage so 
anyways i hope you guys are all hanging in there i hope you have a good week and i'll look forward to seeing you soon